the ing form of the action verb which does not indicate any tense is called ing non finite clause it is used to join two sentences it is used both in written and spoken english it can be practiced in many ways in this video we are learning one of the methods of practicing the ing non finite clause take any living or non living subject and add the ing non finite verb to it followed by other words and then put the main finite verb followed by other words we form the sentences in this way keep any living or non living subject followed by suitable non finite ing clause along with other words then keep the main finite verb followed by other words subject plus ing non finite verb plus other words plus finite verb plus other words examples the beggars sleeping on the pavement have been given blankets and old mattresses the employees working in the night shift suffer from acidity the boys standing near the principal's office have come late the passengers waiting for their flight look tired the elderly men walking along the colony road should be careful the child crying for chocolates seems to be the son of our colleague the news channels spreading rumors about monkey pox should be ignored children swimming in the gated community swimming pool should be carefully observed the elderly patients sitting on the floor of the government hospital look helpless the students leaving the school early carry permission letters the employees coming late after 10 am will not be allowed to use the biometric system the so called slavish state leaders going to the capital city frequently lack leadership qualities and self respect the child artists acting in movies should not ignore their studies the scientists struggling to invent vaccination for cancer should be supported by the entire world the candidates appearing for the final year exam did not waste their time so ing non finite clause is frequently used in the print media keep collecting examples from the media keep practicing to improve your written english Thank you. Read the sentences loudly, clearly, repeatedly to train the tongue. Understand the situation and the sentence structure clearly. Always make own examples to improve your spontaneity and fluency. But never do grammar exercises. They don't improve our communication skills. Thank you. Keep learning English language. Have a great time.